Hi there. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. And everything in between. It is I, Augie. And I am hiking the Appalachian Trail. That makes this Augie Hikes my daily vlog. Another one coming at ya. <sighs> I am currently without water. I just got packed up and started walking. And I'm gonna go two and a half miles to the water source, the nearest water source to the north. Although I'm actually headed east, technically, but I'm northbound on the Appalachian Trail. Passing by piles of moose poo, the forest is beckoning me. I feel better than yesterday. I ate a lot of food last night. So my pack is probably two pounds lighter. Although that two pounds is in my belly currently, so I will be leaving behind that weight this morning as well. There's a shelter with a privy that I will likely take advantage of. So that's what's going on this morning. That's where I'm at. Making my way to Hanover, New Hampshire. Happy to see that. Nice clear pool of water. So this is what I had for breakfast. Three honey stingers. It's more of a brunch to be honest. Uh, three honey stingers and three packets of maple brown sugar Quaker oatmeal as well as a little cup of joe. So I've moved on from my brunch location and shortly up the trail this is what I found. I know there will be ladders on the trail and I've climbed some crazy rocks and rebar ladders but nothing, not an actual aluminum ladder. <laughs> I'm gonna go down this and continue on. Just thought I would share. That's pretty cool. Somebody put a ladder here. This is the trail. Something a little different. Hello, everybody out there watching. Hello, future Augie, reflecting. Just wanted to do a check-in and let the world know how I'm doing, where I'm at. I am currently in the final 30 miles of Vermont. And I'm hiking through what they call the roller coaster of Vermont. I gotta say, I think this section of the AT deserves the title, the roller coaster, more than what they call the roller coaster in Pennsylvania, West Virginia area, right before Harper's Ferry. I guess that would be Virginia, West Virginia. That so called roller coaster has nothing on this roller coaster. These mountains in Vermont are much more difficult to traverse, much steeper, and much more annoying to hike. There's not really any views out here. The forest is, the forest view itself is beautiful, I will say. There's there is that to be appreciated and I'm enjoying this section just like any other it, it's difficult it's beautiful it's muggy it's steep the water is really good to drink though it's very clear and pure
Okay, folks. As you can see that there is a blue blaze, which indicates I'm on a spur trail. The spur trail in question is the wintry shelter spur trail. And I'm just gonna pop in here and uh, gather some water. Here we go, the shelter. Hello. So I go out my house, get a nice meal, take a shower, and uh, the house is kind of really dark and it's Hanover. Hanover? I'm in Hanover and I'm walking down the street and I thought, well, let me see if there's another place to put further down the road. There was another restaurant, but it didn't look as attractive, so I went back to the first one. I walk in, I'm ordering food at the counter, I hear Steve play again. That was pretty amazing. Quick question, are you guys uh, okay with have me having my camera, being, being in the background of my camera? Yeah. Does it bother anybody? Yeah. Okay. I always just like to double check. Yeah. I just have a little vlog, like, I just do like a normal vlog. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. <laughs> talking to my hypothetical future self, <laughs> or my grandma, future viewers. Future grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> I've been logging it thus far, and I'm like, oh, I gotta, might as well keep it going. I've been slacking on it a little bit, but... Like, these three guys, the black guy, the Puerto Rican guy, and that is a huge camera, and he's a pretty professional. And, uh, you know, I can't pick up the black guys, and I'm gonna hang around, I'll take a break. And we're all finished, and like, I stop, take a break, and I'll start chatting with him. And, uh, the guy says, hey, would you mind being in a, a video? He says, I'm making a movie about backpacking. Thank you. I've been putting some TLC into them. I mean, I mostly started it to be able to reminisce because hindsight is 2020, 20, but memory, the human memory is like not infallible, you know? I feel like, I don't know, the camera doesn't forget. So. It's just fun. It's a, it's a project. I don't know. I'm out here by myself, and so sometimes it gives me, like, someone to talk to. Talk my to imaginary <laughs> friends. <laughs> Alright, folks. I have departed from wintry shelter. Back up to the AT I go. 2.3 miles remaining to the... Uh, I can't remember the name of the spot, but... To where I'm headed to camp. It's that time of day again. Golden hour hiking. Past a scutiny view, and there was no view as expected. And now, this is what I am looking at. I just passed up a couple of potential spots. I'm just gonna look a little bit further up here and see what it looks like. The air just smells so nice in here. I wish I could share like a smell of vision. So that looks pretty good right there. Looks like people have camped here before. There's not like a lot of vegetation. I actually don't know what's going on right here and all this turned up soil. It almost looks like something was digging. Well, you know what? There's feathers. It's probably like a dust bathing spot for birds. But I'm gonna call this home. It's nice and flat. Nice open space, no dead trees to fall on me. Oh my gosh, I just whipped the camera around but I'm gonna do it again. Look at the sky. Wow. Okay, time to get set up.
There you have it, folks. Home sweet home. The mothership has landed. There's the view. Quite a beautiful spot here. In this nice little meadow. I haven't camped in many places that were not the green tunnel on this hike. <sighs> I think I'm going to wrap up today's video, folks. All I'm going to do is eat some food and go to bed. Oh, I wanted to mention something. My sleeping pad has begun to grow life not desirable life so this is a, a service announcement to anyone out there who might own or will be an owner of a thermarest sleeping pad um they can grow mold and something to be mindful of try not to pack it wet uh, and be aware that even if it doesn't seem wet when you're packing up in the morning, it probably is a little damp if you're sleeping in your tent. So it's a good idea to try and air it out like midday or if you're going to go a couple of days without using it, take it out of its stuff sack at least at night when you go to bed. Say you're staying at a hostel and you have a bed. Don't just leave it packed up because any little residual moisture can allow for stuff to grow on it. So something I'm going to be addressing. I'm not going to throw it away. It's a really nice sleeping pad. There's no leaks in it, so I'm going to probably just try and clean it. Um, but that's just something I wanted to let y'all know to be aware of. Me and the mothership got matching colors. I never even really realized that. I think this shirt kind of matches. All right, guys, like I said, that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for still being here. If you've stayed with me for all these daily vlogs, I'm still out here doing it today was a much better day it was about 15 and some change today so bye for now see you in the next one